Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me doing a bonus question for extra practice. One that I haven't done before by using a random thing. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this method. Do you have a question? Do you have a problem? Uh, let me know in the, the, the description or just come to Discord if you have a request or something like this. Let's see. A lot of uh, premium questions I haven't done before because they're premium and I have not paid for it. But I am trying to do a little bit more practice, a little bit bonus practice. So let's see. Oh, there must be a... Okay, there we go. One that I haven't done before. And today's problem is a hard problem. Minimum number of K consecutive bit flips. Okay, so you're given a binary num array K and K is choosing a sub array of length K from nums and simultaneously changing every zero to one and every one to zero. We turn the minimum number of k flips such that there are no zeros in the way. So we want to flip everything to one. Um, okay. And this one, I believe the answer will be greedy, because if you think about real decisions, right? That's this is the way that I'm thinking about it. Is that if you're thinking about real decisions, then you you're for, if you're going from left to right, say, and you you see a zero, what happens? Well, when you see a zero. That means that you have to flip this, right? If, if you flip it before on the left, that's fine, and that's a one. Um, and then, of course, this greedy, will, I think, would work. And if you are get to the last K element and you can't flip anymore, it doesn't matter, then you can't flip anymore anyway. This is one dimensional. And you only have one real decision, is that when you see a zero, you flip it to a one. And then the, the question is, you know, n is very f big, k is very big, so you can't simulate it. And then the idea is that we have to be basically, um, we have to be very careful about how many, like, I guess we just have to do the flips and then uh, just keeping track in a in a better way, right? Because if we if we do for every n, and um, you know, and then we look at every next k. Well, that's not going to be fast enough because um, that's not going to be fast enough because uh, that's going to be n times k, and that is 10 to the fifth square. So I think one thing that we can track, and this is something that long-time viewers will know that I do, is that these this idea of like defense-based thing where, um, yeah, you just have like an idea of flipping on and off at a given time, and of course that is predetermined anyway. So. All right, so let's just say flips is equal to zero, and then maybe we have something like for i, x, in nums, or enumerate nums. And then the idea here, and I'm trying to, you know, do it live, is that if, okay, and also current is equal to zero, meaning no flips, say, right? Um, so now if x is equal to zero, um, is the initial thing, meaning that if x is zero, we want to flip it. But we also want to do x, uh, x or current is equal to zero. This, this means that we flip the x bit to from a zero to a one or whatever, because the, this is the current modifier that we have, right? So if this is zero, then we actually want to flip the current one. We want to flip the current one. And then we also want to make sure that when we flip this, we unflip at i minus k, right? Because we flip at i, and then now we want to um, unflip at i minus k or whatever. Um, and we can maybe put it on a... Yeah, we could put it on a deck or something, right? We could put it on a hash table, or like a, a, a lookup as well, but that's fine. I think the deck makes sense here. Um, no, nah, actually, let's just do it on a lookup table, right? So flip is equal to force, or like... Or unflip, maybe you want to say. So you go flip them then. Basically, here we unflip by uh, flip of i plus k is equal to um, true, right? And we can't do it multiple times anyway, so yeah. Um, and also, we have to do if i plus k is greater than n, then we return negative 1 because... That means that we 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 reach the end. We can't flip. We can't unflip. So that's basically the idea. Um, okay. And then at the way end, we are good. 
except for that now we have to kind of uh, get back here, which is that if flip of i is true, then we then current we have to do this for flipping, and I think that should be good. Um, yeah, return flips because I think that's a pretty much a steady state. Maybe I could do some visualization here a bit. Um, okay, and maybe I can be right. <laughs> um, Let's see, did I do this wrong? I think I, the only thing that's possible that's wrong is like stuff like this. So we flip at the beginning of the next one. So this goes to current, this goes to... Hmm. Oh, because we try to flip the last one. So if this is equal to n, it is okay, but not if it's greater than n. Yeah. yeah. This is an awkward way to do it, but I think this should be good. Okay, well, I forgot to uh, keep track of these flips, so of course it's wrong. So yeah, here we flip once, so we flip, we keep track of the flips. Okay, so that looks good. A little bit sloppy aside, the greedy algorithm is right. And let me give it a quick summary. Hopefully this is right first. Maybe miss some edge cases. There are a lot of edge cases. Okay, there you go. It's good. But yeah, but basically the idea is that, okay, so I mean, I would say it one more time because I don't know that I, I think a lot of this stuff is in my head. I didn't really explain it well. But let's say you some um, a number or a switch is zero, right? Well, there are only two, I mean, there are more than two, but let's say there are only two places to, to flip it. One is that if this is the left hand end, and then the other is if it's in the middle of a previous flip. Well, if it's in the middle of the previous flip, to flip this, then there's no decision here, right? So the only decision is whether you flip it here. And then there's this idea of like a forcing function of, okay, if you get from left to right and you haven't flipped it from the previous before, then you have to flip this. You have no choice because you, if your, your sliding uh, uh, pointer goes to the right of this element, well, then you can flip this element again, right? So that's basically the idea here. And this is going to be, as you can see, linear time. Um, yeah, linear time, linear space. You can probably do slightly better on space, but with, uh, this is all of n space. You can make it all of k space by using a deck, like I said, but I didn't make that optimization. Um, and I think, it, mm, yeah, and that may be the, the, the yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried this problem. Let me know how you did it and what's your logic. Oops. Uh, that's all I have for today. If you're doing the contest later, st good luck. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.